So I was hoping, you know, when I was just starting this YouTube channel, uh, that I would just be able to make like one video addressing, you know, defending carbohydrates, you know, which looking back at it now is just really silly because you, if, if you got a, a message that's true and then people uh, need to hear, you're going to have to repeat yourself over and over and over again. So you're going to see a lot of the same stuff on this channel. You're going to see me defending carbohydrates, you know, just like the medical community does. Um, and defending like fruits and vegetables like people saying fruit too much fruit is bad like too much fruit too much sugar in the bloodstream at once leads to fat storage and okay Huffington Post let's see is it possible to eat too much fruit are you eating too much fruit five signs you're eating too much fruit oh yeah too much fruit too much too many fruits and vegetables so think about it Let's look at the diet of, uh, well, first of all, I want to see what this person looks like, this Pilates nutritionist. There she is. Um, who we are. I just want to see this lady who thinks you can eat too much fruit. Because think about um, just all the low-carb people. <laughs> and, and all the low carb people are like so out of shape. Um, you know, like show me a low carb athlete, so, somebody who <laughs> uh, who's like a really good athlete on with no carbs. So there's good carbs, you know, and there's like bad carbs, like junk food, like fruity pebbles and stuff. But sometimes you just need like sugar when you're in like like on a long bike ride or something. You just gotta. Just suck it up and eat some fucking refined sugar. Just get the carbs in. Glucose, glycogen, your body stores. Me, I'm like a pretty big dude, and I have like a reasonably high level of fitness. I, I would guess that my body can store like two to 3,000 calories of pure carbohydrate in the muscles. It's called glycogen. And glucose is the body's preferred, actually is the body's only fuel source. So, you know, people say ketones are, are uh, you know, your body runs better on ketones. Well, guess what? Ketones turn into glucose. And you know what ketone means? It means acetone. That's why your breath stinks when you're in ketosis. And it's just toxic. Like, high meat diet. Like, what a fucking joke. I don't even want to show you, like, I don't even want to get into, <laughs> uh, you know, science about this stuff. Because there's just so much out there. Like, eating a lot of dead animals is not good for you. And eating not enough fruits, vegetables, colorful, uh, you know, whole food starches. Like, look at this lady. She's holding beets. Those are full of sugar. I eat a whole pot of sweet potatoes, sometimes two in a day, every single day of my life. Full of sugar. And it's just like, just look around you, you know, just wake up. <laughs> um, I'm not saying everybody should live on rice like four billion people do on, in the world. And they're all slim as hell living on white rice, but just, you know, carbs don't make you fat, but, so, anyway, I, I should really just split this into two videos, but, <laughs> the, the issue is, people are hungry all the time, or they get, you know, a spike, spike in energy, like, as if some kind of, you know, sugar is some kind of drug, like, you get some unnatural energy because you put fuel into your body to fuel your cells the glucose that every single cell on the planet runs on even ant plant cells all run on glucose so for some reason that's like a drug and yet all these low carb people are drinking caffeine like all day long and that's okay so um yeah like you can't have a high level of fitness if you don't eat carbs and if if you, you know, if you just have a little, you're missing out because your glycogen, the glucose in your body, like, runs out so fast, and the body burns both fat and glycogen at all times in different, you know, proportions and stuff. You want to train your body to burn fat. You want to become more fat adapted, as the low carbers call it. Just do aerobic exercise, light cardio, like talking pace. You're able to talk. That trains your body to burn fat. 
Um, but you'll you'll just never be as fit and have as much energy as you can if you don't keep your glycogen stores up. So I eat a high carb diet. I eat eighty percent of my calories from carbohydrates on a daily basis or more, eighty to ninety percent. And that's just for me, just eating my natural like focus on fruit and vegetables, a little bit of nuts and seeds, you know, and I eat some grains and beans here and there a little bit. But just like the more fruits and vegetables you can eat while uh, consuming a nutritionally adequate diet, the better. So let's just go. I'm going to put in like a normal day. Um, just what I eat. Sweet potatoes. Um, yeah. Oh, well, that's a little too much. Um, let's say... 75, no, I'll, I'll do 65, just, yeah, about 1,400 calories of sweet potatoes in a day, I'll have broccoli, about, um, maybe not two pounds every day, I often do eat more than that, I'll eat like three pounds of broccoli or even four sometimes, which is crazy, but, um, say I eat a pound and a half of broccoli, so that's 24 ounces um, I always eat my flax seeds every day, and dates, so you get like a thousand calories of dates pretty much every day, uh, 18 let's say, that's about right, and you'll see, so I, I normally eat like way more calories than this, I'll eat like 4,000 calories. And I'm already, like, all my vitamins here pretty much taken care of, except for B12, which is a supplement, and D, which you get from the sun. Anyone can have B12 issues because uh, B12 is made by bacteria. So, you know, should I have to explain it? Um, yeah, look at that, all the protein. Look, I didn't even consume any protein today. Zero protein in the diet, and yet my protein needs are pretty much 100% covered. So I eat a little bit more food, like add a handful of nuts in there or something. And, uh, you know, I don't want too much sodium, so that's probably good. Calcium, plenty of calcium. If you eat over 500 milligrams of calcium a day, your fracture risk and bone density is the same as an average person. So, I, you know, and if you're eating an alkaline diet, these foods are, none of these foods, except for the seeds, are acid forming. So you probably need even less calcium. So, anyways, just see how easy it is just consuming fruits and vegetables to get your nutritional requirements. Um, you know, you want to lose fat, just eat less fat. The sugar, like, your body just burns it so fast, and so you're hungry all the time because you're just not eating enough. Um, you, you say you get, like, energy crashes and stuff, you're probably fucking around with way too much fat in your diet. The cause of diabetes is... Intramyocellular lipids, intramyocellular lipids, fat within the muscle tissues. It blocks sugar from getting out of your blood into the muscles where it needs to go. So basically, it means you're fat. That's why why people get diabetes. And look at me, okay? Unlimited carbohydrate calories. I mean, I'm, it's 3 p.m. and I've been sitting in bed eating friggin' Fruit Loops and prunes and <laughs> last night I ate like just like double the meal because I just eat I just like to eat and I just eat a ton of food and I just can't get fat on this type of diet because just glucose burns quickly so it, it's a good thing if you're having trouble keeping weight on different story you might want to add a little fat a little extra protein so you don't get too slim but if, if you're hungry or you get an energy crash, it just means you didn't eat enough carbs. So whether it's rice, you know, if you're financially <laughs> having trouble, or if it's like sweet potatoes, friggin' fruits, you gotta eat a lot if you're gonna try eating this way. You gotta eat a lot of fucking food. For one, you're gonna be a lot more fit, you're gonna have more energy, so you're, you're just gonna wanna move around more. And, <laughs> um, you know, and... The other thing is, like, uh, all carbohydrate-containing uh, foods are, are lower in overall calories, you know, than fatty foods or, you know, foods that contain lots of protein. 
the more uh, carbs per calorie you eat generally, unless you're talking about like leafy greens, the less calories are going to be. So you got to eat a lot of fucking food. And some people don't like eating a lot of food, so I understand. But if you're like me and the most people and you like eating, definitely try this way of eating. Um, but yeah, if you're hungry all the time, you just got to eat. Like, just fucking eat. Man. This food phobia. People deny themselves like they're the most basic human right to good fucking food. And me, like I spend like probably one hundred and fifty bucks a week on food, you know, something like that. And it's just but I I'll definitely I'll blow double that if I have to. I'll lose my house and I'll lose everything before I st start restricting my calories or restricting my fruits and vegetables like fruit in particular fruit it's just the best it grows on fucking trees and it's high high calorie yield per acre per year and with you know relatively low input you know all things considered um so yeah just fucking eat just fucking eat um I don't know what else to say. Like, don't just don't be afraid of carbs. There's so, this. They're not a drug. It's a nutrient that every single cell in your body runs on. It's just common sense, you know. And there's a lot of science. I can show you guys like carbs and diabetes and stuff like uh, reverse diabetes using high carb diet. Definitely high carb, low fat. Let check this out. I'll close with this. All right. Look at this guy. Are we getting sound here? Okay, so we couldn't get sound on that video, but Guy raised, doubled his triglycerides in a couple hours, and then, like, uh, he he ate a meal, a regular meal, and his blood sugar just went crazy after that because his fat is coated with blood. It's called lipemia. It means, uh, it means a. F There's another word too. They call it lactescence, lactescence of the blood. So the blood literally, you take the blood out after you drink like a a milkshake or something like that or like a big fatty burger, and your blood looks milky with fat. So, you know, b people measure their their blood sugar. That's really easy, but nobody pays attention to blood fats, fat, fat content of the blood. Because I guess that's a little more complex to deal with, you know. Blood sugar is just very simple. It's one chemical, you know. So that's what happens when your blood is thick with fat. You have lipemia. You have <laughs> blood lactescence. That um, means that your blood is not going to transport sugar as well. And all your red blood cells stick together. It's just not good for fitness. Stuff like that. That's why people don't consume bottles of olive oil when they're out doing 100-mile bike races. You know, that's why people, uh, you know, in the Tour de France or in marathons and stuff like that, what do they have? They have little sugar packets, little sugar stuff. If it was oil, we'd be doing that, like... There, you know, it, it's the way it works. Sugar is the body's fuel, not fat. So, um, yeah, that's what happened. That guy basically gave himself diabetes by drinking a half cup of olive oil. So, there you go. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace. Plants. Go vegan. Uh, tell your mom. Tell your friends. Subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. I'll have more videos coming out soon. Debunking carbophobia and the you know, the anti-fruit and vegetable fucking bullshit out there. Thanks.